I'm Fletcher Roden, and this is Quotes and Quips. Today, words of wisdom from a friend of the show, Bertrand Russell. Quotes and Quips is brought to you by my website, FletcherRoden.com. That's where you find a link to my Amazon.com authors page, where you can buy my books in paperback or Kindle, and many of them in audiobook format. And there's a link to my Spotify artist page, where you can download my music in its various subgenres. I've got new music for 2024. Now you can download my music anywhere all across the internet. And at my website, there's free music that you can get there exclusively. So, have fun. All right, today we revisit Bertrand Russell, 20th century curmudgeon, philosopher, writer, oft quoted uh, by me and others. I include one of his quotes in my book, Fifty Shades of Trailer Park Boys, TPB and the Great Comedic Traditions. He's also quoted twice in uh, one episode of Succession, the HBO program. So interesting. Here is another quote from Bertrand Russell. He tells us, I would never die for my beliefs because I could be wrong. I would never die for my beliefs because I could be wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what is uh, Mr. Russell telling us here? Is it that he is humble enough to know that he does not have all the answers? Unlike some of his middle 20th century contemporaries, Mr. Hitchens, or your brother, or so many others? Uh, is it true that he's He's confessing to a humility that even if he does not believe in God or in the goodness of man or in many other things, he does at least see clearly the, the fallibility of his own perspective, which so many people in the 20th century seem to have lost. Once, once the horrors of the, of, of the Holocaust um, after World War II were revealed to the world, many lost their faith. And that allowed for the rise of existentialism, which of course is the philosophy that focuses on the, the meaning and the purpose of, of life and of, of society and of one's place in society and so forth. So this, this is, this is uh, Bertrand Russell's wheelhouse. And this gives rise to the kind of quotes that, that we know him for. Sort of cynical, downbeat. Um, this time he says, I'd never die for my beliefs because I could be wrong. Okay, well, it's the second part that speaks of, 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 of a shades of humility, which are refreshing. But the first part of it, I'd never die for my beliefs is the striking part, because there are few enough things worth dying for, and really a person's beliefs are one of them, or should be. There are many instances in um, history, or lore, or both, where we learn great lessons from great men who have died for their beliefs, right or wrong. Now, it's, it's nice to hear that somebody can actually say, well, hey, I might be wrong, but I'd never die for my beliefs. Now, I don't want to die for my beliefs. I don't want to see anybody die for their beliefs. I don't think that dying for your belief is part and parcel of, of having it, necessarily. I don't think martyrdom is required. But to hear a person just say, I'd never die for my beliefs, it, it makes you wonder, well, what would you die for? What would you die for? For someone else? If, you're, if a child were 
in front of a train and you could run and push the child out from in front of the train, but then you knew that you'd be struck dead by the train. Would you sacrifice your life for that child? Not knowing the child, knowing that the child will never know you because you're not going to be alive anymore. Would that be something worth dying for? It's not your beliefs because you could be wrong. But a little girl's life is a little girl's life. You can't be wrong about that. You know, don't tell me, well, she could be a, you know, a demon in disguise. It's a little girl. So you, you, you can't be wrong about that. Would you be willing to die for it? What would you be willing to die for? What, what if anything, is, could you, can you, can you be that reliant, reliant upon? What, what other things can you rely on that much, but for what you know and believe? You know, we've talked about things you cannot measure, the soul, love, God, you know, things you can't prove to be true, the mind. They're not provable. They're not quantifiable. But those are the things people generally would die for, though. And even if they don't realize it, a lot of times they do. They do die for love. They do die for hope. They do die for empathy. They do. They don't really realize it at the time, but it often happens. What is worth dying for? Maybe nothing. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think about it that often. You know, I don't think about what I would die for. Um, but, you know, I, but I'm, you know, I'm going to die. I am going to die, as will everybody. So, maybe it would be better that it be for something. And if it would be for something, what would that be? Would the, for me, would that be a little girl in front of an oncoming train? That would be worth dying for, to tell you the truth. Uh, my own beliefs, if my beliefs are that an innocent life is worth saving at the expense of one that's older and near to its end, then I guess I would say that my beliefs would be worth dying for, even, even if I'm wrong. Even if that kid winds up being a brat and grows up to be a Karen or whatever. You can't know that. What is worth dying for, Russell? Mr. B, you're dead. I think you died in 1970. What, what did you live for? If, if, if nothing is worth dying for, what is worth living for? Generally, I find in writing and in most things, that the answer lay right next to the question. So what's worth dying for? Well, what's worth living for? There's your answer. And if it's not your beliefs, because you could be wrong, then what is? Because you could be wrong about anything. So there's something for you to think about. From the afterlife, Russell Bertrand. Now, there are others who I'll quote and quip on on this show weekly, so come on back and check it out. I'm here every Monday at noon. Um, I leave the reruns up so you can always check them out. And then I've got another show from last year, Tracking the Lone Wolf. You can always watch that on its own YouTube channel, Tracking the Lone Wolf. So until then, have some fun. Check out my music, and there's free stuff at my website. Otherwise, enjoy. I'll see you next time. Until then. Bye, Mary.